Why is the US President Trump will succeed? The Donald Trump, a lack of political experience, was elected President of the United States has led many to fear. However, there is some reason to think that Mr. Trump may be a successful President. I know people. First, to go to the presidential chair, as an entrepreneur, instead of politicians, Trump must be a smart person. Second, he knew one thing that we all clearly. Most of what he promised, if elected she had no sense, and that's why he cannot fulfill his promise, Professor Richard W. Painter of the University of Minnesota Law School commentary in the NY Times. Also, according to commentators of Lancashire Evening Post and who, when as president, not what he wanted Trump are also performed. By whether the powers of the president have been extended, but Trump will face a lot of restrictions if they want to change. Trump could sign the treaty, but only if two-thirds of senators also agree with that. That is according to Article 2 of the US Constitution, the law outlines the powers of the president. Trump cannot make laws, but can veto the bill, and President Trump cannot raise or lower taxes without the approval of Congress. Mr. Trump also had funding from what was approved by Parliament. In case you need to fund what items, Trump would have to convince Congress. There are big advantages. Apart from the laws and legislation, and many things can Trump brought into the Oval Office that voters enjoy. There is a point of being sucked into Trump voters. It is the belief that a wealthy business entrepreneurs will never corrupt. With insiders Trump, business skills is a strong point of Trump. Trump's adviser Anthony Scaramucci said on the BBC that after the media crazy as Trump wins, they will see him as a talented negotiator. The noble Trump will make everyone shocked. Scaramucci said, Trump is a very, very good and he can run the country successfully because there are always people around talent. A corporate executive and a superpower with two differences. However, many people expect the operating capability of Trump's business empire very well, the ability to understand his US economy so well. Vision, creating a booming economy strong, will create 25 million new jobs over the next decade will be welcome Trump if it happens. In addition, Trump can apply business skills to international relations the United States by applying approaches business management. Trump wants to ensure the U.S. to benefit from international allies, analysts Lancashire Evening Newspaper said. In a separate development, billionaire Warren Buffett, who is known as the land of Obama prophet and who had supported Hillary Clinton in the election campaign, has voiced that President-elect Donald Trump deserves respect for all people. In an interview with U.S. television channel CNN Wednesday 10-11, Mr. Buffett said, I support any other president of the United States. It is very important that the American people united behind the president. That does not mean that they cannot criticize him or cannot disagree with what he's doing. However, we need a united nation. He deserves the respect of everyone, billionaire the world's leading wealth added. Whatever be commended, protesters still protesting Trump. The protesters opposed Donald Trump in a number of cities across the United States have continued to pour out into the street on the evening of 11-11, just hours after the president-elect praised their patriotism. Thousands of people took to the streets in Miami, Atlanta, Philadelphia New York, San Francisco, Portland, and Oregon, expressed outrage with his scathing Trump about immigrants, Muslims and women in the presidential election campaign. In Portland, protesters blocked traffic and throwing things at the police riot. Hundreds of protesters marched on the streets of Los Angeles, waving protest banners Mr. Trump and chanted, We do not accept the president-elect. In New York, protesters again gathered in Washington Square Park and Trump Tower on Fifth Avenue, where Donald Trump lives. Previously, Mr. Trump has turned to praise these people for passionate love with the country. 10-11 night, Portland police have arrested at least 26 people after demonstrators threw objects, damaging the new cars at a car dealership and damaging buildings. Also on the night of 10-11, Los Angeles police have arrested about 185 people, 
mostly because of blocked roads or are you out of the house into the youth curfew. One police officer was hospitalized for minor injuries in the process of dealing with the protests. Trump has made no public president. Donald Trump has said he will not get paid when the position of head of the country. Express newspaper reported, after Mr. Trump wins earlier this week, there are many questions to be posed whether this billionaire has received a salary of $400,000 that the president is entitled or not. Earlier, at an event in Rochester, New Hampshire, January 9-2015, Trump declared, the first thing that I will tell you when elected president, that I will not get paid. That not a huge amount to me. Just then, the inquiry screen on Twitter, a similar question was raised and Trump replied, about wages president, I will not get even one dollar. I will not take a paycheck if become president. If so, billionaire Donald Trump will become president. Many questions have been raised with president-elect content how wealthy. 11-11 today, Forbes estimated net assets of Donald Trump at about $3.7 billion, despite earlier Trump said his assets have more than doubled. President's salary is higher than the salary of the Prime Minister Theresa May. Trump suddenly changed minister. Monday 11-11. Donald Trump suddenly put Vice President-elect Mike Pence to head personnel selection process cabinet. Accordingly, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, who is considered to be good candidates for the post of Minister of Justice, was taken down as deputy in the power transfer apparatus, Reuters said. The announcement came after his assistant Donald Trump at Trump Tower Restaurant New York. To select suitable candidates for the 4,000 positions that President-elect to appoint at his inauguration on January 20, 1, 2017. The mission of the team delivered very clearly, which is gathered by a group of successful leaders of the highest quality, who will be able to carry out the agenda for change in Washington, Mr. Trump declared. Notify no Nationally Committee Chairman Reince Priebus Republican, his three older sons Trump including Donald Jr., Eric Trump, Ivka Trump, and Jared Kushner's son and also includes 16 executive committee member. According to the New York Times quoted well-informed sources, the minister changed his Trump leader in power transfer, is to utilize the resources and his relationship pens in Washington to expedite the process of transfer. Millions of Americans calling electors chose Hillary. More than 2 million Americans have signed a petition calling on electors voted for Hillary Clinton in the next 19 12 days. According to Sputnik, the petition titled Electoral College, Please Bring a President Hillary Clinton on June 19-12, and posted on Change.org page from Monday 10 11. We call on the electoral skip the election results of our states and vote for Hillary. Why? That's because Mr. Trump inappropriate, assumption of the president, content petition reads. Petition also alleges that the impetuous, ridicule, deceit, sexual assault story was recognized and the lack of experience makes him, Donald Trump, to become a danger to the republic. In addition, the petition also highlighted the contents former Hillary Clinton won the popular vote and the number should be President of the United States, instead of Donald Trump. The voting results show, Donald Trump has won 290 electoral votes, overwhelmingly won 232 votes compared with the number that Hillary received. However, in terms of the popular vote, Clinton has more than 200,000 votes Mr. Trump. Under the U.S. Constitution, electors are persons who directly elect the new president. Expected, the electors will focus in Washington, D.C. on June 19-12 to conduct the vote. Earlier, on Elite Daily, journalist Oliver McAteer explained that, basically, the electors are entitled to vote the opposite result of universal suffrage elections. For example, if an elector from Pennsylvania does not like to win for the Republicans, then people can vote or not vote for Hillary. These people are called faithless electors. That means that Hillary Clinton is still a chance? Apparently so, but the chances are slim. In the past there have been many unfaithful electors, 
but they cannot influence the final outcome is.